Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make some rainbow beads. What you're going to need is all of the rainbow colors, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You're also going to need some white, and you're going to roll the white out until it is a log. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your rainbow colors, and you're going to make them into sheets. I'm using a pasta rolling machine because it makes the job a lot easier and uh, more accurate. So roll those all out. Um, these are small ones. You're going to obviously need more. It's just to show you. And you're also going to need some white rolled out into a sheet as well. So I already have my sheets rolled out and I'm going to start with my log and the red. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the red around the log of white. And then cut it where it meets. Just like that. And then cut off the ends. You're going to continue to do that with all of the colors. Next would be orange. and continue to do that with all of the colors. Now that the clay cane is finished and all colors are wrapped around the middle white clay cane, we are going to reduce it. I have reduced it to a thickness that I'm pretty comfortable with and I'm going to cut it in parts now so that I can use the clay cane at different sizes for different projects. To prevent squishing when you're cutting your clay cane, since it's all soft, before cutting it, I recommend freezing it so it'll get hard and then you can cut, cut clean slices. So one of the beads that you can create using this is um, to get a piece of white clay and roll it into a ball. Now once you have your ball, you are going to start sticking the clay slices all over the ball like this. You can use a scrap piece of clay, white clay, whatever um, you're, you're okay with. It doesn't necessarily need to be with white clay. Now what you're going to do with them all stuck all over the ball is start rolling it into a ball. Roll it until it's smooth. And the, the parts are attached together. So after you're done rolling it, this is what you'll have. And if you ask me, I think that's a pretty darn cool ball to uh, be to make jewelry with. Another bead that you can create with this 
is to get a, another piece of scrap clay. I like to use the white clay. You're going to roll that into a ball. Then you're going to um, set it aside. And then you're going to cut these ones in half. Now with your half pieces, you're going to start sticking them around your ball, just like this. Now roll it into a ball. And now you're going to have rainbows going around your whole bead. You could also change it up by putting a piece of blue clay as a sky above the top of the rainbows. Make a little piece, push it into a ball, then you're going to put it on top just like that and start rolling. If you do that, then it looks kind of like you have a sky. This is a larger one I did using some blue as the sky and the rainbows. Let your imagination run free. All right, so I went ahead and froze my beads that I just created. What I'm gonna do now is put them on the wire and you want them frozen when you put them on the wire so that you don't deform the shape. Try to do this as quickly as possible because, because they become unfrozen pretty quickly. Actually, what I would do is um, do them in batches so you don't lose the shape because they become unfrozen very quickly. After you've put them all on the wire like this, you're going to bend the ends of each side with some round nose pliers or with your fingers. And then attach it to the wires in the oven that you're baking in so they hang down like that and they'll bake like that. I hope you liked watching this tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to share it on your Facebook. Thank you, bye. This is really good.